<laughs> Chapter 9, The Miracle Drug. Hell yeah, mother flickers. Smoke continues to billow out of the Champion District fire as we speak. The apparent cause is a small explosion which took place in a covert gambling hall not long ago. Eyewitnesses claimed they heard the sound of explosives being detonated in the establishment. However, the building was deserted by the time firefighters and police arrived on the scene. With the horror of gang violence still fresh in our minds, the incident only raises tension across the city. Hmm. Sounds like the plan didn't go so well. They were desperate. Still, we did manage to talk to Hamra. Which is how you found out Shona was the one giving him orders, right? Not Director Kido. Yeah, at least that's a look he was giving us. You can tell that just from a look. Give me a break. I don't know how else to put it. Well, I guess that look is all we have to go off. Hey, did you come to taunt me or help me? Don't be mean, Yagami-san. Of course I came to help. Help how? I found someone who's an expert on AD9. Looking into that research paper... At least somebody's doing something. ...finding more leads. And I don't know about you, but I can't understand a word of what it says. Yeah, same. But I found somebody who can. I'm it's more than I can say about some people. Just don't get mad, okay? Sugiura? Mad? Why would I get mad? Well, the expert I found... It's Hattori-san, the journalist you kind of hate. What? Please, he's written a lot of articles on 89 and has interviewed all the top medical researchers. That guy? Seriously? He's got to be some kind of joke. He said huh. to tell us what we want to know, if you asked him nicely. Yeah, you know what? Let's drop it. I don't care about the paper. <sighs> Yagami-san. What? That research could contain vital information for this case we're building. This isn't an opportunity we can afford to miss. But if we ask him for help now, he's going to want something in return later. Hattori-san's waiting for you at Kyushu number one star. Apparently he's doing... Oh, of course, the most expensive fucking restaurant in town. On, yagami -san. Get going. He would be there. Probably have to buy him a fucking meal and everything else to boot. God damn it. Is that the most expensive restaurant? I thought that was the steak place. Oh, it's not. Oh, okay. I don't care. <clears throat> God damn it. Son. Hmm? Oh, I didn't notice you there, Yagami-san. Don't tell me you're using a phone camera to take pictures for your article. The resolution on these things is plenty high nowadays. You have a problem? Not really, no. Just didn't know sensationalist food columns were a thing. I only report on things that interest me. That's my professional philosophy. Well, is it gonna take a while? I'm here to talk. Don't worry. I'll be done soon. All right. I'm done. Thanks for stopping by, Yagami-san. Oh, fucking time. Taking pictures for his Instagram. <laughs> kind of strange sharing a bowl of ramen with you. I thought the day would never come. Can you not... Relax, Yagami-san. Are you still working for Kajihira? I'm not sure I'd go that far. 
He just calls me in for favors every now and again. Helps to be Where do they flick their cigarette ashes? For my job, you know? Do they uh, do it in the soup and then just eat it? Because nice I don't see an ashtray. You too, you Unless they just flick it on the floor and then the guy has to fucking sweep all that mess up. Sensei's corpse, after all. I'm here to talk 89. If that's not what this is about, I'm not sticking around. All right, all right. But you'll owe me for this. Oh, there's the ashtray. I see it now. Generally, drug development starts with the discovery of a compound that can treat a given disease. That compound becomes the candidate for a drug. They then test its effects on animals, after which the drug heads to clinical trials. Which is a nicer way of saying human experimentation. As for the process, it can take years, sometimes even longer, to ensure a drug is truly safe for public consumption. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. I get it. Before now, Alzheimer's drugs have only been able to slow the progress of the disease. None can cure it completely. But Director Keto's 89 proved remarkably effective at doing just that when tested on mice. If it can work on humans as well, maybe we can Yeah, my mom took a experimental chemo. At least that's that was in clinical trials. Ago claimed. Interesting. Yagami they were testing it to see its effectiveness on people that are terminal. One in four people over the but she didn't receive it for free. <laughs> that means for Just to put it in perspective, it was eighteen thousand dollars a bottle. And the odds so, yeah. that one member of that couple will eighteen thousand dollars a month. No matter how you look at it. And insurance and doesn't cover it. Inescapable issue. If I ever experience symptoms myself, not gonna mention the name of it because if there is ever a chance of this video ever being seen, I don't want to be sued. I guess my point is dementia. Needless to say, it didn't work. It's a possibility to She still passed. Our biggest enemy is ignorance and apathy. Kind of reminds me of someone. Yeah, if you say so. Good. I'd like to give you a rundown of what exactly Alzheimer's is then. You interested? Well, you're gonna, even if I say no, right? <laughs> you bet I would. Now let's begin. Out of all the diseases that can cause dementia, Alzheimer's accounts for roughly 70% of cases. It's believed to be brought about by buildup of a protein called amyloid beta in the brain. When that happens, nerve cells start dying off and the brain begins to atrophy. So to put this in layman's terms, waste buildup kind of shrinks the brain. <laughs> That's one way to put it, yes. But even that is just a theory at this point. There's still much to learn about Alzheimer's. And when your brain shrinks? Your memory is impaired. Let me explain. There are three processes involved in memory. Encoding, storage, and retrieval. Alzheimer's impairs the first step, encoding. This makes it near impossible to remember new things. I'll give you an example that stuck with me. When doctors asked a dementia patient the date, they had no problem producing the correct answer. But when asked the year, the patient said 1952. Their mind was stuck decades in the past. You see, dementia not only inhibits new memories, but jumbles the ones you already have as well. Hmm. I think I understand. Good. So how exactly does 89 cure Alzheimer's? According to their research, when they injected 89 into the test mice, it brought about a process known as autophagy. Which is what? It's a Greek word that means self-devouring. That's what your body starts to do to its own proteins. In other words, all the amyloid beta built up in the mice's brains began to instantly break down. Instantly. Yes. And once it was all gone, 
their Alzheimer's stopped progressing entirely. The most shocking thing is that even brain cells which had lost function were able to recover. As one researcher put it, it's as though the brain turns on a backup generator. If they can bring about similar effects in humans, they'll have a cure for Alzheimer's. That's right. There are millions of patients worldwide, and that number is growing steadily every day. If they actually complete this drug, it could truly change the world as we know it. It's nothing short of a dream drug for both buyers. And but what's sellers. the catch? <laughs> if you ask me, it sounds too good to be true. Excuse me? I mean, the vice director of the ADDC suspected something fishy was going on with it. But when he started digging around, someone offed him to keep their secret safe. Made it look like a brawl so nobody would get suspicious. What kind of secret are we talking? Like the drug's effects being falsified. No, there's no chance of that. Huh? How do you know? Since the announcement of AD9, countless animal tests have proven successful. It's no fabrication. One test after another, they've proven its viability. And you're sure? Yes. I'm of the mind they should push forward faster, even if the paper was a little rough around the edges. After all, dementia drugs are being developed all around the world. It would be a shame if someone beat them to the punch, both for the ADDC and for Japan. Kido-san is far too cautious. This is no time to be testing on animals. They need to move to clinical trials and get this thing out. By which you mean... Experimenting on humans. Human experimentation. I'm sure the human brain works way differently than it does on animals. Oh, nothing. Just, are you absolutely sure there's nothing off about 89? Or compared to animals, anyway. Kido-san is listed as the research. But in truth, he only put his name on the paper to lend it credibility. The key researcher was someone else entirely. I think the refresh rate on my webcam, I think it all got reset. So the one I want. I'm gonna have to check all that shit out. It's Shono, huh? so you're None of my settings get saved. Then I do an update and then all my settings get deleted. I have to set it all up again. So sick of it. That kind of thing is pretty common, though. Not really a cause for concern. I guess it's too much to ask for something to actually fucking function and work. Like how it's supposed to. Shono, what's your role in all of this? Alright, so what are we doing now? Okay, so I guess we're just heading back to the office to review the case. I feel like this here is the Japanese version of Jessica Jones. <laughs> They're even kind of dressed the same. Yo, welcome back. Hey there, Black you jacket, Gang's all here, jeans. Huh? How did things go Except she wears son? boots. He's wearing like Learning fucking Air Force stuff. Ones or some yeah, shit. I guess. Okay, dokie. Wait, are you saying there isn't actually anything up with eighty nine? That's what Hattori said. Yeah. This is the first time I'm hearing about Kido not really being involved, though. It's possible Shono's hiding the truth from even him. Maybe. <sighs> One term in particular stuck with me from my chat with Hattori-san. Which is? Human experimentation. Go on. Apparently, 89 is just about ready to be tested on real human subjects. <laughs> well, that's gross. Side effects include bloating, blindness, and death, right? Knock it off. Sorry, sorry. 
What's bothering you about that, Yagami-san? Well, it's just... I've just been thinking... What if all these murders were secretly experimental trials for 89? You're... you're serious? If Shono's the one behind all this... What? You think this guy Shono went out, hired an assassin, and started killing people? Guess it's a bit of a stretch, huh? Even if these people were test cases, why would Shono have to murder them? This is a dementia drug, not some kind of chemical weapon. No, but what if it really did have some kind of crazy side effects, though? Like, they didn't want to kill the people, but they ended up dying anyways. It was perfectly <coughs> fine when they tested it on mice, though. If it ended up killing someone, then... Wait a sec. Yeah, wait a sec is right. We're on the same page here. What if 89 was completely harmless to mice, but lethal when introduced into the human body? If that was the case, they'd need to perform a ton of experiments to make sure it was fixed. Which is why they killed all those Kyore guys. Hmm. Back it up. If they're testing a drug, wouldn't they want to use it on an actual patient? I mean, it's not like those Kyore guys all had Alzheimer's or anything. That's true. Actually, it says here that they test new drugs on healthy humans as well. They're the control group to make sure the drug is safe. Yeah, eventually. It wouldn't make any damn sense for them to start on anyone but real patients, though. But... Just give it a rest. Try taking this seriously for once. We yeah, it would make sense if they tested on actual patients. You find the people that are the, the most worse, and then you give them the best drug to see if they make a turn. So people who are just now getting it, you know, like if the drug helps even a little bit for people in advanced stages, you know, you give it to people that are just now in the beginning stages and reverse it. So you test it on the people who already got it, you know, and it's, they're already meeting the inevitable. You give it to them as like a last option. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, then, you know, they're already in the last stages, so there's nothing that can be done. But if it works, if it reverses it a little bit, it's going to help people have better chances if they're just getting diagnosed with it. That, to me, makes more sense. So you test it on the people that already got it. You don't test it on healthy people that don't even have any signs of it. All right, cool your fucking jets. That happened three years ago. AD9 didn't even exist back then. What if it did? What if a strain did? It was only announced last year. They only announce something whenever they're sure that it's even worth it being announced. Huh? Wait, are we really on to something? It's hard to say for sure, but it's worth looking into at the very least. I mean, that to me makes sense. But I don't know. I have a few more thoughts about this whole human experimentation theory. Mind if we continue? Sure. Let's do it. Okay, so. Let's say Shono did experiment on Wakusan. Why would he do that? They normally do a lot more to ensure a drug is safe before it enters clinical trials. What was his motive for testing it then? Maybe he wanted to try his groundbreaking new drug on a real live human as soon as possible. If it worked, he'd have the cure. And he'd have it without dealing with all the red tape these things go through. It would have saved him years. That's possible. I guess Shono was surrounded by dementia patients. One little test wouldn't be a big deal, and if it succeeded, his drug would save the world. If it meant curing Alzheimer's sooner, he might have been okay accepting the risk. But instead of doing what it was meant to do, 89 had a horrible side effect. Death. The more I think about it, the more it feels like this is how it all went down. So that guy is given but now the test drug. Knows it the doesn't risks. work. He ends up dying. And then what's his name has to dispose of the body and ends up being blamed for it. And then I guess he just snaps and does something or I don't know. If it is Shono, he was probably responsible for murdering that woman too. That's why he's on death row. Quit it, Sugiura. 
We'll get to that later. Yeah. What if it's all just a cover-up? So, to summarize our theory so far. It all started three years ago when Shono accidentally killed a patient during an AD9 test. But those tests are still ongoing. That's why Hamura had all those Kyore guys killed. But wait, how would a guy like Shono get wrapped up with Yakuza and assassins? Your run-of-the-mill researcher wouldn't have the cash or connections for that shit. But what yes, they would. To him did. If they had an so endless budget, like the Kajihira group, the or that whatever the fuck. Yeah. Could have been the Ministry of Health guy, or it could have been Kajira. Could have been either one. I doubt it was Keto. So, I mean, it can either be one of these guys. I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to say, uh, Kazumi. The Minister of Health. And I'm wrong. Now he's a Kazumi. What? <laughs> Do you think an active cabinet member is out hooking Shono up with Yakuza? Seriously? Hmm. I suppose the minister... I mean, it could be either one of those fucking guys. But I'm not sure he has the motive. Especially not for such a risky move. Who else do we have then? Someone who could get Hamura and Shono in touch. Huh. Shigeru Kajihira. Chairman of the Kajihira Group. I'm not so sure about that, Yagami-san. How the fuck would Kido do it? The murdered Kyore Yakuza are Kajihira's men. Besides, there's no evidence of any connection between him and Shono. I uh, guess you have a point there. How? How the, the fuck does Kido do it? About? Who is Shono's go-between, then? <laughs> I guess it has to be him. Ryusuke Kido, director of the ADD Didn't State. think he had any fucking Yakuza ties, though. Oh, I see what you mean. I don't. Would have access to ADDC funding. Yeah, and how did the ADDC get their fucking funding? Somehow, right? I think you've cracked it, Yagami-san. It had to be Kido. Uh, I don't know if that's really true. Why? Think back to the AD9 press conference. You remember the look on Kido's face? He was so proud, innocent even, that if he knew about all this human experiment shit, no way he'd look like that. Kid's got a point. <clears throat> then maybe he was only told about the experiments after the conference took place. That would still make sense, right? Uh... First, Shono gets Kido to sign off on the 89 paper and publicly gives him all the credit. Thrilled about the possibilities, Kido proudly presents the research at that press conference. There's no turning back after that. Even if he found out about the experiments. These yeah, guys do nothing at all, but they have all son. the answers. <laughs> he then used Kido's funding and connections to bring in Hamura and the mole. I am completely fucking brain dead. Pieces are falling into place. I'm lost. Mm -hmm. That means Kido's not actually the one in charge. Kido works for the Ministry of Health, dude. Right. He's, He's running the show. Kaji here is just funding the whole goddamn thing. Mm -hmm. But he also wants to secure his investment, so he's working with the Ministry of Health dude in order to push Keto and Shono to developing the goddamn drug. He wants to secure his fucking investment, but he lost it. Because it was a dud. That's what makes fucking sense to me. So it could either be this one or this one. I don't think it's this one. Could be then. But Shono was also dealing with this dude. And as far as I know, like if, if, if the drug was a dud and it killed the guy and then he used What's-His-Face, the janitor, to get it out of there, you know, then he set him up so he wasn't the mole. So it would have to be this. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Death six months ago. And why do you say that? 
Hashki inching closer to the truth about 89 was a serious problem for Shono. But as we know, Shono was in a taxi at the time of the beating. Meaning someone else must have been responsible for Hashki's death. The man in the black raincoat? He's the mole? Yeah. Only the best of the best assassins would have the skill to do what they did to Hashki. Can't argue with that. Who knows how close Hashki was to finding out about the human experimentation before he died. Yeah, and if he had, that would have been the end of the line for Shono. Seems like a plausible motive to me. Mm. So Let me guess I'm wrong. Just makes sense? I don't know. If you have something to say, <clears throat> say it. I mean... This is still just a theory, right? It all sounds almost too convenient. Hmm? What do you mean? Shono killed Wakusan at the ADDC three years ago. And Okubo, the primary suspect in the case, would be totally in the clear. Yep. Already proved that in court, remember? But Okubo, he... He killed his girlfriend right after. He stabbed her over and over. Even set the place on fire. Reeked of booze, too. Even though he was supposed to be dry. Defend him all you want. The guy's a murderer. That's why the whole thing was such a big deal. Everyone realized the court made a mistake. It took the death of an innocent girl for them to realize that Okubo probably did it after all. Yet here you are. Claiming the court got it right. Claiming Okubo's innocent. But you just don't want to feel responsible for Emi Terasawa's death. That's it, isn't it? Enough, Sugiura. You're way out of line, and you don't know shit. Look, I know I get swept up in my emotions pretty easily sometimes. All the same, I'm trying to be fair here. Are you? So if we want to treat Yagami-san's theory like it's the truth, We'll have to figure out whether or not Okubo is innocent. If he actually killed Wakasan. And how are you suggesting we do that? It's simple. We just go to Okubo and ask if he did it. You want to talk to him face to face? Meeting with a death row inmate isn't that easy. A lawyer like you should have no problem setting that up, right? Stand me though. From day one, Okubo insisted he was innocent, that he didn't kill Emmy. But I, I abandoned him. I told him he'd be better off just giving up. Fine, but that's a pretty weak excuse for not going to talk to him now. Well, what the fuck are you doing? I really want to pursue this case. <laughs> Other than acting like you have all the answers and then fucking jumping down everybody's throat. What the fuck are you gonna do? You're literally like a fucking fly on the wall. Didn't want to plant the bug, didn't want to do this, didn't want to do that, couldn't get his hands dirty doing this, and now he wants to give his fucking two cents and have everybody take it? Bullshit. I mean, it is a fair point to try to go and talk to that guy, but I mean, he's, he's like he's barking out orders and expecting everybody to heed it. You know? Shit, set that down way too hard. Alright, I guess we're going to the Genda Law Office and get his opinion. Even though he hasn't been doing anything other than just sucking in information about it. Hasn't actually been out there doing anything.